bit of training. morning from Club Safari here in Philippines. My name is Frank Williams and I'm the rogue teacher here in Asia so I'm gonna tell you more about that. Follow me inside inside Club Safari please. My little shirt or vest. Uh, by the way, uh, love this music. song was uh, Scatterlings of Africa, Johnny Clegg, the White Zulu. I can highly recommend if you ever have the opportunity to listen to this dude. Johnny Clegg, the White Zulu. Oh, it's amazing. So, like I just said, I'm Frank Williams and I'm gonna tell you all about teaching English in Asia because I've been doing this for the last, uh, what is it, 25, 26 years, since uh, 1990, that is 1990, 1990 I came to Taiwan, Taipei, wow, those were the days, those were the days, seems like another, hey, it is another century, <laughs> so anyway, ever since then I've been all around Asia, uh, Taiwan, uh, Hong Kong, China, Macau, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, and now I'm here in the beautiful Philippines, okay? Philippines, as you can see, gorgeous, gorgeous, okay? Yeah, I, I hope uh, all of you are going to come and visit me here. Okay, so I call myself the rogue teacher, rogue. A rogue is somebody or... or uh, an animal for example like in Africa I'm from Africa by the way uh, like a rogue elephant a rogue lion they, they do it their own way they are outside the herd they are not part of the sheep people sheep people we call sheep people right so I'm not one of the sheep people okay I'm not uh, I'm more like the wolf circling the sheep looking for the easy prey for the low-hanging fruits so what are the low-hanging fruits teaching English in Asia First of all, let me tell you that the market is huge, right? Like I just mentioned, so many countries, including Korea, Japan, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, Thailand, Vietnam. I've never been to Vietnam, but I heard it's quite good. Now, all of these countries, you can come and teach English. Yes, even, uh, even someone like me uh, from Africa. Uh, English is actually not my first language. It's not my second language. It's my third language okay so if I can do it I have no degree the only times I ever went to college was to go and teach yes that was my only times I ever been to university to go and teach there so no college education not a native speaker from Africa came here blind I had no friends no contacts no connections okay but 25 years later I'm here in my place, Club Safari, and as you can see, very gorgeous, best food in Mindanao, we're doing training here, and so this is my story, okay? So let me tell you first, the low-hanging fruits, 
When you come to Asia to teach, you're going to find many options, like I just said. Um, for example, you, you can teach business English, you're gonna teach, uh, you can teach uh, adults, you know, the part-timers, those people working in the offices, they wanna, they wanna learn a little bit of English for, for traveling or for business. Then you have the high school students, the college students, and then you have one segment of the market, which I think is the most lucrative. It's very lucrative because you have the little children or the little kiddies, the pre, the starting with preschool, before they even go to school, many countries in Asia, they want their children to learn. And I recommend that segment of the market. That's very lucrative, because why? Imagine this, you get some kind of adult or some office lady or, or a few or a group of them, and they, they want, they have to learn after they finish their work, work day, right? So, <coughs> hey, I'm getting thirsty, by the way. Um, Anything to drink, guys? Uh, but anyway, so, you know, these people are tired, they work all day, they work long hours, and then they have to go, and, and if, you're, if your English is not that good, hey, oh, good, I got something to, what the hell, dude? What is this? What is this? Oh, shit. Ooh, hey, what time is it? I think it's too early. What time is it now? Uh, it's seven. Seven in the morning, in the morning, right? Not in the evening. Well, we have to wait for the. By the way, this is uh, Long Long. Can you t can you tell us what you do here in Club uh, Safari? Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> Why so nervous, man? What's up? What do you do here? You serve them, <laughs> serve my drinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Keep it for later. Okay, keep it for later. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, hey, is there anything else, guys? I'm still thirsty, man. Um, ah, what is this then? Um, this is a fruit wine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, by the way, this is great. Uh, I really want to show you this. Guyabana fruit wine. Made by my friend, by the way. Only natural fermentation, no chemicals added. If you ever come here, ice cold. Oh, Guyabana, mango, mangosteen, etc., etc. Okay, this is really great. Um, to continue my story, oh yeah, the children. The children are the the easiest market to, to teach, the, the least um, the least demanding. Yes, can you believe it? It's the least demanding. Hopefully, we'll get something soon. Um, so the children can't say no. They can't say that. Oh, Excuse hello. Me. I heard you're thirsty. Oh, and where are Here's you? The coffee for you. I, I, <laughs> I'm I'm kind of managing the. Oh, you are the boss here, right? No, I'm not the boss. Okay, no, thank you, you, boss. Thank no you, problem. boss. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, the, the, this is my coffee. Uh, by the way, we have really good local coffee here in Mindanao. Beautiful coffee. So, oh, what's the aroma? Beautiful. Oh. Children, 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 children. That's the secret of success in teaching because children are always ever ready. They are. They're not going to call you and say, hey, Frank, I'm uh, very tired today, or I'm sick today, or Frank, I'm, um, I got a meeting today, uh, Frank, blah, 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 blah. So I really want to, um, I really want to encourage you to, to teach children, okay? And I'm the expert of teaching children For, from three years old, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the golden window to teach them. And um, you really want to you really want to get into that market, okay? So I'm going to tell you all about how to teach kids, okay? The secrets, the ways to control them, the ways to keep them interested and loving it, to coming always coming back for more and more and more, uh, be, because uh, because that is the most lucrative uh, segment of the market, okay? And a lot of people are instinctively afraid of kids. Don't be afraid of kids, okay? They're lovely, they're gorgeous, they always show up, they love you, you love them, they're learning, everything is fine. So this is my quick introduction to myself, to some of the people here in Club Safari, to Club Safari, to Philippines, to Mindanao, the best place in, the, in Asia, not in the world, in Asia, because Africa is the best place in the world, right? <laughs> okay, this is one of my blogs, uh, Rogue Teacher in Asia. The second one will be, uh, I'm going to have another blog, uh, vlog, V-L-O-G, vlog which is going to tell you all about my 
Uh, you know, I also, I'm also a survival teacher. I'm also a teacher of um, martial arts. This is my article about Shaolin. Uh, life among the Shaolin monks. Uh, as you can see here, this was written for Black Belt magazine back in the day when I was still uh, still training at Shaolin Temple. I also have my own uh, survival training course. It's called Black Shield Elite Training in China. This is uh, me, obviously, uh, with my, my good friend Don, Master Don Chang. I think he's got seven dan black belt in Aikido, five dan in Judo, third dan in Karate, da 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 da, many, many black belts. This was one of my partners, um, a general in China, by the way. So then I also taught the Ivy League, Ivy uh, Education, Ivy League kids from China going to USA. I taught them, you know, of course, those mass shootings in the States. How to survive, you know, knife attacks, gun attacks, impact weapons, single attacker, multiple attackers, anti-kidnapping, safe traveling, anti-drugging, uh, escapes, uh, anti-surveillance, all of that you can, you will be able to see in my course. As you can see here, uh, all this, we use these toys. We use all, we use all kinds of toys to teach our courses, impact weapons, and, uh, we, and I will also show you how to make guns. We make our own homemade guns, by the way. Um, so all of that is coming up. Just make sure you, you, know, you, know the, you know the routine by now, you follow me, and I will upload regularly, okay, into different vlogs, okay? So hey, thanks a lot for coming, and see you soon. Cheers.